Hello, hello, and welcome everybody to the 100th episode on the Hermitcraft server. That is insane. 100 episodes, and some of you are probably thinking, Asuma, but you never thought you'd have 100 episodes on this server, but I tell you what, the day I joined, I knew I'd get to this day. I knew there would be 100 episodes, and the reason why is because I was so dedicated to the idea. Now, back when Hermitcraft started, which was about 9 or 10 months ago, was when Minecraft really exploded with popularity. They'd just done the Ultra Hardcore series and they kind of opened everyone's eyes as to how cool playing in multiplayer is. Now, before I never really saw a lot of multiplayer content. People seemed really against the idea. If you tried to speak to other people about making some videos together on a server, it was never really something that people did back then. But then the whole Minecraft thing happened and they showed how cool it was to play on a server. You know, you could do your LPing thing, you could go off, build your own base, but then when you get bored or you want to do something different you can turn around and hang out with other people explore their bases you know and just have a whole new dimension of fun basically and everyone wanted to get on Minecraft back then I think we all saw how popular and fun it was and wanted to be a part of something like that and when Generic B turned around to me and said do you want to be on Hermitcraft I was just on board from the second that he asked me I was like yep I absolutely want to do this I want to do my LPing on a server with other people who are cool and I think the coolest thing about Hermitcraft was that all the other people who were there in the beginning were my friends and people that I watched at the time and still do to this day I would say although I don't watch a lot of YouTube videos anymore but but yeah it was just really great to be a part of this and as I said you know I was like with all my favorite YouTubers I didn't really know the Minecraft people I just sort of watched the ultra hardcore series and uh, and yeah I was very excited to be a part of this so when it all started up I uh, I made my little thumbnail for my first episode and in the bottom left hand corner I put 001 and some people pointed it out straight away they said see what you're doing there you're uh, in it for the long run and I knew I was I knew I would be on here be very active and make a lot of videos because this is what I really wanted to do at the time I wanted to LP on a server and have lots of fun that way and I tell you what the journey has been amazing and it wasn't till until I got to around like the 30s and the 40s that I really saw you know like me getting into my stride with making episodes on this server and I knew that the 100th episode would be here sooner than I expected and here we are right now the 100th episode I knew this day would come is basically what I'm saying and so I want to start off by thanking Generic B for making this server I think it was a really great thing for him to do to go around and pull together a load of cool YouTubers and get this server up and running because it has been fantastic to be a part of and it's my favorite thing to do really when it comes to making videos I really enjoy making tutorials and some of the other stuff that I do but Hermitcraft is my main thing I love doing my LPing on here and hanging out with everyone else that's around on the server and lately we've had a ton of new people so what I wanted to do this episode was do a world tour and we'll probably start off with some of those newer members and the thing with world tours is that you're probably not going to be too interested because you already watched some other people you know what their bases look like so we're going to do something a little bit different today now I've asked for generics permission to do this and basically what I'm going to do is put all of my items in this chest over here oh that one's full of vendor pearls <laughs> let's just dump all of these items in here and after I've done this I'm going to kill myself and not even use those uh, 100 levels that we have right there and it's going to be like I was nether in creative mode <laughs> so now we can fly now I know some of you guys thinking this is a bit cheaty and the reason I'm doing this is because I wanted to show you everyone's worlds and the Hermitcraft world from a different perspective it's not often that you get to see it from up here and when you look at it from up here it does look completely different and that is the same with anything really you take a look at something from a different angle and you just get a completely different perspective and from up here, you know, it doesn't really like, look like we've done too much around this spawn area. Um, but when you're down on the ground, it feels completely different. So yeah, of course, being in creative mode, what I'm going to do is kill myself after this and sacrifice those 100 levels. I don't want anyone to think that I've somehow tainted anything by being in creative mode. So all of my items are in the inventories and I'm just going to be flying around and doing a tour this way. So we're going to have a quick look over the spawn village, which we've seen most of already. Uh, we've got this new area over here and of course the world isn't really loading when I'm recording <laughs> and you see someone's been doing some strip mining down there as well let's jump down here and encourage it to load this is the area 
that I think Joe Hill's done most of this. And you know what, it is really bad, so we are going to do a little relog here. So at last, the Hermit Graph world loads properly, and now we can continue our tour. Although we've pretty much seen most of the spawn village, but this is the area that Joe Hills has uh, put together so that new people joining the server can take some plots of land and build themselves some homes. And I've got to say, this ravine right here looks really awesome, and wouldn't it be cool if someone built a base right here? You could have the little walkways on either side at the top of the ravine. Those are entrances to little rooms. <laughs> Check this guy out. Hello. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know, I just want to put that out there. I think that would be really cool. So, enough talking for now. I think it's about time that we started this tour. So, here we are, our first destination on the world tour. And this is Corallis' base. This place is just amazing. Check it out, it looks so great. And now, we can actually fly up into the sky and have a look like this. And you know what, I am not surprised, this place just looks great from any angle. And I think everyone likes to come to Corallis's from time to time and just see what he's been up to, because his building style is pretty amazing. And yeah, this place is so cool. But Corallis was one of the first people on the server, like myself, and earlier I mentioned about how when I joined there were lots of people I already watched on here, and Corallis was one of those. I used to talk to him on Skype and watch his videos. We had a box exchange, and... Yeah, it's really cool to be on here with him, along with Biffa and Generic I used to watch, as well as Static and Red Eyes. And so when I joined Hermitcraft, it felt like I was right at home, you know. I was around all these people that I watched anyway. And yeah, it was really just great to be a part of this from day one. Uh, but these tours, I mean, they're not really going to be <laughs> much of a tour. We're just going to fly around and have a quick look, because there are a lot of people on the server, a lot of bases to get around. And we don't have all the time in the world, so we're going to have to move to our next destination. So next up on the tour, none other than the King Hermit himself, Generic Bees Base. And he hasn't taken down our sign from the prank, I've noticed. And also, <laughs> this right here, it's Corallus again. And that face is just so goofy. It <laughs> cracks me up every time I see it, but that is a really cool prank. And I haven't been here since the prank that we done, actually. I've seen the videos, I saw that he burnt down his base, and... You know, it's good to go over here and see it in person, although I'm starting to feel a little bit guilty. I know that his base got wrecked after he set it on fire, which was his own choice. He could have chopped it down with the standard agency-issued axe that we provided him with, which would have lasted <laughs> no longer than 30 seconds. But yeah, let's go down here and have a look at the damage. Ah, oh, I can feel it already. <laughs> I'm going to feel guilty. Yep. Oh, look at that. It is completely ruined, this place. And I have no idea what Generic's plans are, but if this were me, I'd probably start over again and build another base. But, man, we really did <laughs> we really did go to town with that prank. But I think he enjoyed it, you know. I don't think I would have. <laughs> Which makes me quite worried about what he's going to do in retaliation. So, here we are at my fellow agency member's base. This is Biffa's Bowl. There's loads of iron golems here from the prank that King Daddy Dmac done, and Biffa has got himself three beacons. I still haven't even got a beacon. I just cannot be bothered <laughs> with trying to hunt down those wither skeletons. But this place is seriously cool. I love the idea, just hollowing out a massive area, you know, a real big long-term project, which is what I'm doing with my witch farm. These things are always fun. And over here as well, we've got the... Rainbow from Joe Hills, which is pretty spectacular. I don't know who put this here. It could have been I Am Spoon. That kind of looks like his skin, maybe. And then over on the other side, there is a present that I think Generic and Hypno brought before one time. Yeah, there you go. You can see it just over there in the distance. And look, it's Corallus again with his <laughs> Corallus-style house. This is pretty cool. And uh, when I was over here, I think Biffa said he was going to interrogate this into his base somehow or something. Uh, but I think he should leave it like this, you know, this little floating area over in one corner with its own little house on it. I think that looks pretty cool. And yeah, he's got his mob spawner in the middle as well. And that's pretty much Biffa's bowl right there. There's loads of little things going on. He's got sheep cells over here. And yeah, this place is pretty amazing. <laughs> so here we are at our next destination. This is Hypno's base, and this is my first time visiting this area. I've not actually come out here yet on the server at all. Uh, the reason why is because I was kind of put off by the long journey you have to take in the nether. It's like 10 minutes on a minecart track, which is just insane. But yeah, this base is really far out. And I tell you what, 
it's a really cool idea to build a pyramid like this. It pretty much looks the same as an Aztec pyramid, I think. I could be wrong, it could be Mayan. Um, but yeah, really nice design and the grass just makes it look so cool. Um, but I'm not too sure what else Hypno has around here. I know he's got a witch farm and an iron golem farm and that is it over here. I think he had some trouble with it recently and he had to rebuild some of it which kind of sucks. But um, but yeah, I think this would be active when he's in his base over there as well. And I don't know how to get into his base so I should probably figure that out. And we'll go have a look inside. This could be it right here actually. Yeah, it is and there we go that is pretty spectacular and how many of these beacons does he have he's got five wow that's a lot oh i really do need to get myself some beacons and i think he's been pranked g but <laughs> i don't know what that means or who's done that but yeah and what are they over there oh the little ocelots <laughs> just walking around just hanging out oh yeah he's gonna have loads of them in here that must be really cool to have a base with some ambient mob like that always in it. Ah, oh, I want some cats now. <laughs> yeah, this place is cool. And I know he's got like a storage area somewhere around here, but... Okay, his storage area is actually down here and I thought we've got to show this before we leave. Look at this. That is lovely. I love the ceiling. That is so nice. <laughs> that really is. It must have taken him a long time to do this. Well, it would have taken me a long time because I always try and do things symmetrically and yeah. But I think that is really nice. This whole place is pretty cool. And yeah, I guess that's Hypno's base. So our next base is Red Eyes and he's actually on the server right now. And <laughs> he just ended up pulled into me. That was quality. <laughs> Good shot. <laughs> So yeah, it wasn't so long ago that we were here and the whole point of this tour is to have a look from a different perspective. And you can see that right now. Wow, this place looks really awesome, especially this mob spawner. Check this out. That looks so cool. <laughs> I'll explain to him in a moment what I'm doing, but yeah. I think this is actually being rebuilt. There's nothing inside here, or this is new. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Red Eyes' base is really cool. I was just having a look around and there's just so many little things everywhere where you're not too sure what's what. He's got a little storage area down the bottom there. I haven't seen this before. Look at this. Loads of wheat. Hmm. I've got a feeling that that'll be harvested with water and then you'll go across in a minecart and that'll help you pick up all of the drops. And he's also got himself a little jungle temple. And also this little thing over here looks interesting, but I have no idea what this is for. But it does look very nice. And yeah, there's some gold here, and that's about <laughs> all I can tell. So here we are, we are at Jassassin's base. This is the underwater base which must have taken a horribly long time to construct. Building underwater is such a pain, and I think I'm going the wrong way here. We need to go up, there we go and I guess he's probably got some plan for this room. I don't really know where I'm going because I haven't been here in a long time so I imagine maybe it's this turning here. This looks familiar, look you can see the water now. And yeah this is it, this is just Assassin's base. I really like this uh, mainly because of the underwater feature. Adds this kind of blue to the game that you can't really get anywhere else unless you build underwater. Not even Lapis has that nice kind of you know, colour to it. I guess it's because it's <laughs> quite transparent. Look at that thing. The hell is that? <laughs> that is a huge underwater dome. I really want to go check that out now. It looks like it's halfway through construction though, so hmm. I know he's got a couple of like storage areas and farms around here. Little furnace room there. Um, I'm going to go have a look and see if I can find how we get to that place over there. So I don't know how we get in there, but one of the points of this tour is to see things from a perspective we wouldn't normally be able to see. And this is just Assassin's base from up in the sky, and that does look really cool from up here. Yeah, that looks seriously cool. And there's nothing much else around here, right in the middle of an ocean. But yeah, that's just Assassin's base. It's a really cool project he's got going on here. So here we are at Iron Spoon's base, and it wasn't so long ago that I was over here actually with Assassin and Joe Hills. And man, this place is awesome. 
I love it. It just, oh, it just reminds me. I don't know of when you first play Minecraft and you just build whatever the hell you feel like. Because this is so cool. There's just a whole bunch of random different things here, like a church. I think this is supposed to be the Church of Spoon. You can see it there. And then a tree farm, which I think this is a really cool way of doing a tree farm. It may not be like a efficient or effective design, but it's just a a cool little. I know it's like a little biome in each box with a different tree. <laughs> Yeah, I like this a lot, and I really like the big spoon face here as well. <laughs> so goofy looking. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this whole place is pretty awesome. It'd be interesting to see what he builds here in the future. And he's building a melon castle at the moment. I think that's right. Whoa. <laughs> Can you tell where we are? We are inside a beam of light. <laughs> no, actually, we're at King Daddy d Max base, and yeah. Just flying up here to get a look at the place from up above. Man, it's pretty spectacular. The amount of work it must have taken to build the Golem Farm, I don't know, it's insane. But look at this thing right here. The last time I was I was here, all of this was level with the area around it, and it looks like he's going to be turning it into a little sand pyramid, which I think is pretty cool. We saw how awesome Hypno's Jungle Pyramid looked like, and I think this could look pretty damn good as well. Uh, but a lot of D-Max base is actually underground. So we should jump down the middle here. Oh, mind your head. <laughs> and that's the end portal right there. All those put glass above it. And you've got a little trap door to get in and out of that. And the thing that I want to show you here is the, the part where you get the iron golems. And I can never remember how to get there. And it's also hidden as well, which doesn't help. Okay, I found it. There's a button just back there. And that opens a door to our side. Let's just do that properly. Nope. <laughs> Fail. There we go. And this is where you can harvest all of these iron golems for iron. I'm actually not going to do that now because I'm in creative mode. I'll just leave it be. Here we are at our next destination. This is Joe Hills' place. And I love this. This is like the nether is spilling out into the overworld. And yeah, that is really crazy. And Joe built this so that you can actually see where his nether portal was because he didn't move it to his base. His base is in that direction, I do believe. There it is over there. Um, but I'm really curious as to what this is because there's a path just leading out here and it's been a long time since I've seen Joe Hills' base. Uh, back when he joined, first joined the server I watched a lot of his videos but over time I've just stopped watching Minecraft videos and I don't know what he's actually been up to or where this goes to. Um, but the way the chunks are loading, I can see that, <laughs> yeah, it's loaded up ahead. I'm not sure where this is going to go to, you know. I've got a feeling it might go all the way back to spawn. <laughs> and uh, we're certainly not seeing much of his base, so I'll just follow this for a little bit longer and then I'll turn around if there's nothing to see. Aha, it ends. <laughs> okay, that was the big road of pointlessness, so now I'm just going to head back to his nether portal. Right, now we can go check out his base, which is this way, I do believe. And I can't ignore red eyes, let's just say hi. Oh, and here's an host. And let's have a look. So this is the redstone lab up the top here. And over on the right there, we've got the boat with the cake on it and the candles. And then this is Joe Hill's little platform area, I'm not sure what he calls that. And this building over here I haven't seen before, but this is Joe's base right here. And let's just have a look in this house before we move on to the next place. Very simple. <laughs> I like it. It's cool. Next up on the tour is Topmass's base, and this is Pierre's tomb right here. That was Topmass's pig that died during the live stream. Uh, how he died, I can't remember though. But yeah, let's go check this place out. It's also the home of the Pixel Nerds, so we'll be checking out their part of the base as well. And this is Top Mass's area right here. It's been a while since I was last here. I think the last thing he built when I came over was the coffee house. And these little houses down here, I think, are built by the Hermit Crab. Um, maybe not. I thought these were built by different members on the server, but I'm not sure what the dealie over that is. Anyway, if we fly over in this direction, this little house in the corner here, this was all built by Corallus as a, a gift to Top Mass, and it's a pretty awesome gift right there to come and build someone a pretty nice looking house like that. That must have taken him a lot of time and effort. 
And if we head up the top here, I'm not sure what this is. There's a chest. The mystical melon. Ha! <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a mystical melon over here. And then this little tower, I think, top mass built. And then everything you see in the background here, I think, was built by the pixel nerds. They love to build stuff up in the sky. And they've also got the stairway to heaven here for all the people that donate to their channel. And I wonder how far that's gone along now. Let's go up to the top and see how high up it's gone. And it is 213, so not too much further to go. And yeah, they've built some cool stuff around here. Nice buildings. Floating castles. <laughs> That must have taken quite some time to build all of that. And it's got like an impact crater below it as well. That is really cool. <laughs> that actually looks like it's sort of been sucked out of the ground and up into the air. And then over here, I think they had two of these towers and one of them got set on fire. And then another floaty little mage tower, which is pretty cool. I think I remember ender pearling over to this and uh, there's a nether portal at the top or something. Um, but I'm not too familiar with the Pixel Nerds' area. I'm not sure if there's much more to it other than these uh, floaty islands that we have here. Okay, Monkey Farm Space. I have no idea if he's done anything more than this, but this is very cool. It wasn't so long ago I was over here with Joe Hills and Host and a couple of other people on the live stream. I think it was. <laughs> I can't quite remember, but Joe discovered some weird bug with the bed or something but I don't think he's done much since we were last here but this is really cool it'll be interesting to see how he uh, evolves this over time I wonder if he's got any plans to build anything down here as well but who knows who knows okay we are now at cilantro gamers base and I don't think I've ever been here before possibly once or I watched him on a live stream building this place and I really like what he done with all the walkways and the fence posts uh, but Cilantro is actually on a break right now, so I don't know if he'll ever be coming back to Hermitcraft or even to Minecraft. Uh, which is real unfortunate, because it looks like he had a, a good talent for building here. I really like all of this. Very nicely built up. I like the support beams as well, and I have no idea what else to look for. Looks like he's got a little sugarcane farm going on down there. Uh, this is pretty cool. little water feature. And some obsidian. I wonder what that does. Let's fly around here and have a look. Oh, there's some things over here as well. He's got a little umbrella, some pictures. <laughs> got himself a villager friend. And yeah, what's up with this obsidian? Oh, it's an anvil, okay. That's cool. So yeah, that's Cilantro's base. I'm not really sure where to go, what else he's got going on around here. But I do like his building style and I hope that one day he'll come back to the Hermitcraft server. Our last destination on the tour is Joostra's base, which is just up ahead. And I think this is also how you get to Schism and Pungence's base. They are the Goon Squad, the three of them. Uh, but where their bases are, I'm not sure. So I won't be able to show you those, unfortunately. But this is Joostra's base up in the canopy of the jungle. And he's only been on here for a few weeks now, so there's not too much to see. But it's a pretty cool start to his base. And we can have an interesting look at it from above while the map struggles to load as always. Let's do the F3 and A again. There we go. And yeah, this is Joostra's base. I've not seen this before. And I'm not sure what exactly he's got going on so far. A bit of storage around here. A couple of farms. And some little houses over here. He's probably going to put villages in. And seeing these tracks down like this probably means he has plans to transport them up here. And oh look, <laughs> there's some villages. So that concludes our tour of the Hermitcraft server and unfortunately I couldn't find Static's nether portal. So his was a base that we missed but I was just thinking, you know what, it doesn't matter. We can always go there in a coming episode and see what he's been up to. But that is it for this 100th episode special and you know what, this isn't really a special episode to me. A special episode is something like the 50th one where I have a new and big project that I want to do and I can make it last a long time. And this to me, the, the thing that's special is really just the celebration of the 100th episode. Although I think, you know, touring it from the creative mode perspective and seeing Hermitcraft from a different angle, that was pretty cool as well. But the main thing that's special for me is you guys. Like, 100 episodes isn't 100 episodes. It's 100 episodes that you guys have stuck around and watched. And that's really what's special to me because without you guys there is no Hermitcraft series. And that couldn't be more true, you know. Without an audience, there's there's no videos, is there? There's no point 
in making them and it feels like a real privilege to be able to play a game that you really like and enjoy and share that experience with other people. So the point that I want to end this episode on is that you guys really do make Hermitcraft happen. You give us inspiration to play and make videos and so I dedicate this to all of you Hermitcraft fans. So thank you for watching and I will catch you next time.